Jenny from Campaign Asia here. Now I have with me Jin Lin, um, jury president of the cyber category, arguably the hottest and the most debatable um, category in CanLines. Jean, um, would you tell me what are the hottest trends? I mean, we've been through so many entries. It's, it's, it's probably incredible you're tired. Yeah, mm. there are 3,700 entries for cyber categories, mm. and it's a really interesting experience for 24 juries going through the entries and picking up the, the winners. Mm. I think the, the key trends that we're seeing is digital is really the interception of everything. Mm. And digital actually empower the possibility for brand storytelling mm. to merge with commerce, technology, and data in such a seamless way. We see a lot of work this year that's integrated the online, offline world. That, that is idea that's enabled through technology, but integrating in online, offline spaces. Mm. So that's a very interesting trend that we're seeing. The other thing that we've seen is the confidence for people to use technology. Mm. So in the past, we see more work that's um, embracing the innovation of technology. Mm -hmm. This year, we see more work embracing powerful brand narrative mm -hmm. enabled by technology that's accessible and easy to use. Mm -hmm. so I think that's a very good thing for our industry because when you get into that area, the cyber, the power of cyber in terms of empowering product and service design mm -hmm. and designing compelling brand experiences that can lead you to the point of transaction. Mm -hmm. That's the where I think cyber should be going. Mm -hmm. How about Asia entries? Are they, do they understand the concept that technology should be an enabler of creativity? I mean, I mean how is their performance like this year? I think, I think Asia Pacific does um, get recognition in the cyber category. Uh, their work from Japan, Korea, Australia. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I, I think the, the trend is phenomenal and that's a global trend. Mm -hmm. I don't see any huge differences there. But I think, I have to say that it's, I've seen less Asian entries compared to other regions. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering why, mm -hmm. because some of the good work that I've seen last year in SPY, uh, unla unless it's the eligibility, mm -hmm. um, uh, they were probably not entered mm -hmm. into lines and I think they may have an opportunity here as well because mm. we're looking for ideas that thrive in the right cultural context mm. and Asia got very diverse cultural context mm. that will create interesting stories. Is that a barrier? Is that a barrier in the cyber category? Asia's uh, cultural context? Actually I think that's a plus mm -hmm. because the, the, the thing that um, right now Ken's got a very diverse um, composition of juries coming from different region and people want to hear about interesting su surprising and refreshing point of view mm -hmm. so actually I think APAC mm -hmm. giving the culture diverse is is a plus in entering awards mm -hmm. because that create a fresh pair of eyes into things that you thought you already know mm -hmm. uh, if we drill down a little bit uh, inside of Asia China I'm a bit surprised well like their performance is a bit well, uh, lousy <laughs> this year, if I may say. Why is that so? What is, what is lacking? And what advice would you give to, to China entries and uh, marketers in the future? I think for China entries, mm. in addition to, I think it deserves more attention to enter in international awards. I think we, we didn't see a lot of China entries this year. Um, the other thing is really on how you tell your story. So, so the imagining if you have to skip through 3,700 entries, how you tell the story in an easy to understand way and to the point, I think is something that we need to probably do better with a lot of Asia Pacific entries, in particular China. Why are they not telling the stories well? You know, you, when you're in a specific cultural context, especially when you're entering awards that's in a foreign language, mm -hmm. there are a lot of adjustments that you have to take. Just to in, make sure that you can present the story mm -hmm. in a way of in front of an audience that may or may not understand mm -hmm. the most important cultural implications mm -hmm. from the market. And I think it's either, the interest I've seen is either spending too much time on the cultural contest okay. and getting to the idea at too late um, in the in the process, mm -hmm. or 
went straight into the idea without the cultural context mm. as a background. That will mm. actually eliminate the understanding mm. of the story and how that can create an impact. Mm. Okay, thank you, Jean. Thank you for deconstructing the good and bad in the cyber category for us. Thank you again, Jean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.